Hello data pros, welcome back to another exciting video in our DBT series. In our last video, we got familiar with DBT macros and how it can be practically used in real-world projects. Now, let's take the next step and explore more about DBT packages. Stop reinventing the wheel, this popular saying clearly depicts the purpose of DBT packages. DBT packages are pre-built DBT projects that have been created and perfected by someone to address common use cases. You can import these packages and use its models, tests, and macros as if they were part of your own project. This can save you a lot of time and effort, and it allows you to focus on the things that matter most to your core business. Alright, let's dive in and see how it works. One of the reliable sources of packages is DBT's official package store, hub.getdbt.com. This offers a wide variety of packages. One such popular package is DBT Utils, which contains a range of useful modules. To use DBT Utils in your project, simply copy this piece of code and include it in your YAML configuration file. For ease of maintenance, I'm going to create separate YAML file for packages. After saving the file, run the dbt depths command to import the code from the package repository into your project. This is necessary whenever you add or remove packages or even if you update their versions. The code segments from dbt utils are now added to your project under dbt packages. Referring to the documentation, dbt utils offers various generic tests and macros. Let's choose one, maybe deduplicate, and implement it into our project. This macro is very useful if you want to remove duplicate rows from sources, models, or CTEs. Without packages, you will probably end up writing a code that is available over here. But relax, we've already added this package to our project, so our life is easy. We can directly start implementing it with one of these usage templates. Let's create a new model so that the resulting unique rows are loaded into a separate table. Configure the source table details in the relation section. Specify the column names or key fields to determine duplicate rows. Additionally, you can configure order by fields to sort the records before removing the duplicates. Let's compile and examine the auto-generated SQL code. This looks perfect. When this model is run, a table with the same name as the model file will be created in the data warehouse. This table will contain only the unique rows from the data source. Now, let's return to my Snowflake data warehouse to verify the results. Great, it works as expected. Let's explore another way to include packages using Git repository. DBT Expectations is yet another powerful package library that can be used to implement comprehensive tests and data quality checks in your DBT projects. Kindly copy the Git URL and version number from GitHub. Update your YAML file accordingly. As learned already, we should execute dbt dependency command after any package configuration changes. Referring to the documentation, let's implement one of the tests from this package. This test ensures count of records in a model or table matches with another model or table. We can simply copy this code snippet and add it to our YAML file where you've configured your tests. Let's customize it according to our requirements. This test will now compare the record count of order items unique model with order stage model. Next, let's execute the DBT test to validate the results. The execution has successfully passed, confirming that the row count matches between the two models. That's all I have for today. 
Please stay tuned for our next video, where we'll deep dive into DBT advanced materializations. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.